Okay guys, so now that you guys have your email set up, I'm going to show you how to create an Apple iTunes account. So what you're going to do is going to click on the Apple iTunes store. And then you're going to search a free school related app. So I'm, I'm going to download this Google Translate. I'm going to click on free, install it, and it's going to pop up this thing. And since I don't have an Apple iTunes ID yet, I'm going to click on create new Apple ID. Then it's going to pop up this thing and it's going to ask you where you're, you're from, which country you're from. And obviously we're from the United States, so I'm going to click next. And then it's going to give you this terms and condition thing and there's 62 pages. You guys can read them. I'm not going to, so I'm going to click agree and then agree again. And then your email is the email, the school email that you've just created. So your student number at graniteschools.com. And then the password is any password. As long as you remember it forever, it's good. It has to be a capital letter. Um, lowercase letters and some digits with a character like a question mark or an exclamation mark and then you have to retype it go down and then retype it retype it okay and then now you have to create a question like um, where you were born, where your dog was born, what's your favorite flower, anything like that, just in case if you forget, um, just in case if you forget your password, and then you're gonna put in your answer, and then you're gonna scroll all the way up. Okay, and so for privacy purposes, I have to put a sticky note on where what my stuff is. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your birthday in next. And then you're gonna click next. And then it's gonna ask you for your billing information. Now, none of you guys should have a credit card, so you're gonna click credit card. You're gonna scroll all the way down and you're gonna put none. And then down here, you're gonna put in your billing address. And it requires you to put like a title. And so I'm not married, so I'm gonna put miss and then done. And then now I'm gonna put in my personal information. Okay guys, now that you've finished putting your billing address and personal information. You guys are going to scroll down and you guys are going to click next. And then it's going to tell you that it has sent an email verification to your email. So you're going to click done, cancel, and then you're going to go into your email, which you should have already set up. And look, Apple just sent me an email and then now I'm going to verify it see where it says verify now click verify now okay now that you've already clicked on the verify button it's gonna ask you for your student your email which is your student email at graniteschools.com And then the password is the password that you've used 
to create your iTunes account, and I hope you guys still remember it. Okay, and now you're going to click on Verify Address. Now that you've verified your address, let's try downloading that app that we were trying to download earlier. Okay, so we were trying to download Google Translate. Now you're going to click on the free button. Now click install. And it's going to pop up this thing. And now that you've already have an iTunes account, you're going to click on use existing Apple ID. Okay, so your email is the email that you put in. In our case, it's the school email. And then the password is the password that you've created. Okay, and then you're going to click OK. And then it should be downloading. Now you have the iTunes account that does not require a credit card.